Project WMD. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Lazy Train here from Project WMD. And what is this bringing an IR round with me? Yeah, that's what I do in real life. Hey, we could call the series the Video Vlog Episode 1. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Anyway, in this video I'll be talking about uh, the new games coming soon, this late this year, and next year. So, I'll get started now, so shall I? Oh, and by the way, if you've been noticing in my videos, we've got that sort of like your Toy Story stickers now. I've had that since the third grade, or you could say the year three, if you're British, American yet. So, I do apologise. I'm not, probably not going to get it redefined, because... Yeah, why not? I like Toy Story. I've still got a gaming picture in the Apache 1. Red Dead Redemption, bro. Oh, well. Anyway, let's get down to the video. So, new games coming up. So, we're, so in this video, I'll be talking about games coming out from this po point in time all the way one loop around to the next fall. So, Christmas time next year, 2012. December 2012, basically. So, let's get started. So, anyway, games coming out in fall. So, October time, we've got no introduction. We've got Battlefield 3. Now, Battlefield 3 has got to be one of the most anticipated first-person shooters. I mean, this is like the next generation of uh, video games. Absolutely amazing. Um, I cannot wait for the game. Um, I think this is going to be an absolute breath of fresh air, <laughs> to be honest, from Black Ops and, you know, all the other Call of Duty games. And I'm actually looking forward to something new. Um, I'm also looking forward to Modern Warfare 3, which we'll get on into a minute, but, oh well, I mean, we already know that the PC version is going to be supreme to the console version, but I'm still going to play the uh, console version as well as the PC version, because, you know, that experience of clutching it like crack. Um, it's going to be like crack to some people from Battlefield fans, for all I know. And then at the same time as Battlefield 3 will come out, Duke's X, I think it's believe, or is it, yeah, Duke's X, yeah. August time, this year. Now this game kind of feels like a Metal Gear Solid sort of feel, but this game seems to be stepping it a bit um, to the next generation, you could say. Because, like, it's not a non-linear game, so basically, if the game asks you to go into a door, you go into the door, but in this game, there's a couple of ways to decide it, so you don't have to go into a door and barge in and shoot the living crap out of everyone. Daka 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 da brrrra! Instead, that you can go into, I don't know, like a tunnel shaft or, so, I don't know, something like that. I mean, a tunnel way, you could go basically two ways. You could go the secret way, or you could barge in with AKs like I just demonstrated. And in the same time as uh, Duke of X will be coming out, Dead Island. Now, Dead Island um, was revealed, I believe, last, early last year, I believe. Or was it this year? I can't remember, this year or late last year, anyway. So, it's a first-person zombie killing game. And this seems to be something like uh, Dead Rising 2, which I really didn't really enjoy that much. But anyway, it's going to be it's going to be um, set in some sort of holiday vacation. Forgot the place. But again, it's kind of like a Dead Dead Rising feel, where you're 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 alone against millions of zombies and you've got to find for survival. You should check out the trailer, Dead Island. Just type Dead Island in YouTube, and you'll find a couple of trailers. I mean, you've got to say this game looks amazing. The trailer probably is really good. But hopefully the game's not like crap. I probably will be getting this, but first I'm going to read the reviews on IGN. Hey, I might even do a review on that. That'll be awesome as well, right? And in the same time, well, at the same time, but a month after that, no introduction, November, Modern Warfare 3. Now, again, anticipated as usual. I'm looking forward to this game, to be honest. Um, I'm just sick and tired of Black Ops at the moment, playing it all the time. Not saying that it's bad, but the multiplayer is a bit boring. It's not like the game's finished, you could say. But anyway, and the same time as Modern Warfare 3, one of probably the best PlayStation games, PlayStation 3 games that's on the moment is Uncharted. Now Uncharted 3, absolutely looking forward to it. Played the beta, really, really good. Apparently it's supposed to be better than Gears of War, but I don't know. Two different genres, so I can't really compare it. But yeah, I am really looking forward to this game. I mean, this game is like a, like a, it's like crack to me, just, let's just put it that way. And it's like a Hollywood production type film. I mean, it is a really good game. I advise you to have a look at YouTube if you're like a Xbox player and you haven't really seen much of Uncharted. But it's a really, really good game. Definitely, definitely going to have my ha hands on that. Absolutely amazing. And so we've gotten to the point where it's December time. Well, more or less December time. Um, so we've got game of Battlefield, Modern Warfare 3. We're in the first person shooter Mania. And then another first person shooter again that will be coming, I think it's J J uh, January, December like. 
is Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Now this is a remake of obviously Halo. We all know Halo. Nintendo, PlayStation fan, whatever. We all know this game. 343 is making this game of Lee. They're remaking it. Now again, I am looking forward to this game because Halo Reach was my, my first Halo game. So I am looking forward to this game. This is like something new. And apparently 343, and again this is just a rumour, I'll be giving hints of the Halo 4 cam of the Halo 4 storyline that we'll be getting through later. So, I don't know, I mean, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Because again, they could be, even that one little bit could be wrecking with the Halo Anniversary Combat Evolved um, storyline. Which is a shame really, because if that does happen, I think a lot of diehard uh, Halo fans will be pissed off. But, again, I'll be get I probably will be getting this game, because again, of Halo Combat Evolved, Combat Evolved, yeah, was a really big hit, so I want to be part of that, um, that, you know, that group, you could say. And the same time as, um, Halo, we've got Mass Effect 3. Now, Mass Effect 3, um, was shown more in detail at E3 this year, and yes, it was pulled through the Kinect, which, to be, <laughs> to be quite honest, the Xbox E3 was just Kinect, 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 I mean, yeah, it all connect. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. I mean, you just, you can like do that voiceover thing where you can shout out, "Hey, there's a grenade! Hey, move away, dude!" And you can do all that sort of stuff. I mean, that's pretty cool. But I'm not really going to spend um, myself doing that. I mean, not three o'clock in the morning when I should be sleeping. I'm playing Mass Effect. I'm not going to be screaming at the TV saying, "Hey, son of a bitch, come on!" And yeah, that's uh, Mass Effect three for you. Then so. We've had Mass Effect 3, we've had Halo, and then a couple of months after those games, so we're in, we're in, we're in full season at the moment, we've got really good games coming out, so I would say April, March time, we've got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Now, at the beginning when this was announced, I was really looking forward to this game, because I do like Sprinter Cell games, I like that, that creepy, what was that creepy, that tactical sort of move of the game, if that makes any sense, but you know what I mean. But I was looking forward to this game, um, I know they had that CGI trailer which, don't get me wrong, was just absolute mess, I mean I didn't really like it, didn't show much, it was just a group of actors doing it, so, doing it, yeah, and um, E3, I mean when they showed it, I was like, oh my god, are you serious? I mean this game, if you saw E3 and you saw the video, I mean this game was just connect, I mean I can understand the coolness of it, of making your own weapon, I mean that's the only cool part, but when I saw the gameplay, oh my god, I mean, <laughs> I was he I'm not hesitant to get this game now, I'm definitely probably not going to get it, I know a lot of my friends are, but who knows, right? So we've got to the season where it's mid-year, and it's E3, I'm saying it's E3 time and Xbox would be unveiling their new generation consoles, as per rumour. And at that time, games like Max Payne 3 will be coming out. Now again, this game has been announced since 2009, and... I mean, this game's been delayed. Now, I really enjoyed Max Payne. Um, I, I, I'm say enjoyed. I really do like Max Payne. I still play it on the PS2. On the PS2, I play the game on the PS3. I love the game. I think it's a really, really good game. Looking forward to Max, Max Payne 3. I am a first-person fan, as you probably already noticed. I'm like, hey, um, Super Mario's coming out three days. Should be bloody funny. You mean you get to jump all these sorts of fucking mushrooms and shit? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I am looking forward to the game, but, I mean, it's getting delayed so many times that I'm just really getting annoyed on. So, we've had so many good games coming out, and it's gone to the point, so far that I know, um, in in the year. And it's November time, as probably all you, you know what I'm not on about, Call of Duty 9. So, again, it could be Black Ops 2, could be whatever, I mean, it's probably going to be a frail game anyway. I mean, we're all going to probably uh, like the game, I mean, everyone when... Modern Warfare 3 was announced, everyone was like, oh, Modern Warfare 3. It's going to be like Modern Warfare 2, right? But I guarantee you everyone's going to be, like, excited for Black Ops, including myself, right? I mean, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, Black Ops 2! Oh my flipping days! Yeah, hey, Black Ops 2! Black Ops for the win, baby! Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry I to hear that, but that's probably going to be the reaction of some people that are going to be getting. But, oh well, right? It's video gaming, right? And then at the end of the year, next year, the final game that I can think about right now is Halo 4. Now again, it's supposed to be coming out for the 360. Knowing Microsoft, if they do bring out the next generation Xbox, Halo 4 is definitely going to be on that console. But yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is not one that really wasn't a video vlog, but I thought I'd bring out more of an IRL feel to it. This episode's not going to come on a daily basis every week. It's probably going to come on so often. So this is episode one, guys. I hope you join me in my next videos and episode two of the vlog. Anyway, enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Hello, guys. Projects WMD.